Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Dragoonity combo tutorial. Big surprise, big shocker. I mean, basically this is like effectively turning into the weekly dose of Dragoonity's channel. Uh, but anyway, what I'm going to be showing you today is I'm going to be showing you uh, specifically what I consider to be the best anti-Nibiru Dragoonity combo. Now, there are several ways for you to play around Nibiru with Dragoonities, utilizing the new cards coming out in the new OCG structure deck, which I don't know when we're getting that structure deck in the TCG, but I'm expecting it to be sometime around February, March, or April of 2021, which will hopefully coincide with events kicking back up post the whole COVID situation, you know, stuff like that. Uh, but there are many ways for the deck to play around Nibiru or any X hand trap. Uh, specifically utilizing cards like Legatus and Remus in conjunction with one another. Those cards allow you to make a Crystal Wing as your fifth summon without normal summoning, uh, and like that's pretty obvious and clear. The problem with those combos is that they usually require a lot of cards to do so. You need the Legatus, the Remus, and then like any two other like Dragoonity cards, like a Dragoonity Tuner, Synodus, or whatever, and then Ravine like correct. And then extra copies of Ravine could also just be more cards that correct the cards in your hand. Uh, so like those combos are possible and they do exist and they are something you open a lot So Nibiru is not really a problem for this deck. Some people seem to think that it is I guess they just haven't read the card pool or thought about how it works But what I'm gonna be showing you today, like I said, is what I consider to be the best Anti-Nibiru combo because it uses the least amount of cards to do so It is strictly a three card combo requiring no other cards, no discards, no anything like that and it is just, you know, Ravine Phalanx and a card that I really, really want to talk about more, Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. This card is a card I gave up on getting imported to the TCG years ago because we knew about this card before we knew about Link Monsters and it never got imported. But now it's getting imported in Rise of the Duelist. Uh, this card is fantastic. It is a fantastic piece of Dragoonity support and it allows our decks to be played and built in certain ways that supplement this card very nicely uh, because this card discards itself to search for Dark Worm or Morphage Lechery and then like if you draw another copy of it or if you just want to use it in that way it's also Monster Reborn for Gaederg meaning it makes all your combos a little bit better and what it allows you to do for building your deck allows us to you know make some anti-Nibiru combos which is what I'm going to show you but so this combo is Ravine Phalanx plus either Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon or Monster Reborn. Uh, it can be Monster Reborn, but Revolution Dragon is more commonly going to be used because this card actually has a lot more synergy with the deck, natural synergy. Uh, Reborn is a card that you would be playing normally, but you wouldn't be building your deck in the fashion that would facilitate this combo to be possible if we were not playing a card like Revolution Dragon. Like Re Re Revolution Dragon is like an instant three of. Like, this card is fantastic in the deck, but I'm going to show you this combo real quick, and uh, we'll just gonna play around Nibiru slash any hand trap smile um but so you're gonna activate Dragon Ravine you're gonna discard the Phalanx you're going to add a copy of Dragoonity Ducks from your deck to your hands pretty simple uh you're gonna normal summon the Ducks equip the Phalanx special the Phalanx and you're going to synchro six into Dragoonity Knight Gaederg Gaederg is gonna activate its effect you're gonna add Baby Rock to hand discard Baby Rock it specials itself this is your fourth summon and then you are going to synchro these off into the Crystal Wing Savage Dragon, uh, Crystal Wing Savage Dragon, Jesus, what kind of card would that be? Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon as your fifth summon. So this is your fifth summon, now if you get Nibiru, do you just negate it? Uh, you can negate any hand trap that you want, uh, later in the combo as well, depending, uh, on what you think the situation calls for. Uh, so this is here early, but you've already used your normal summon, so how do we fix that? We fix that with Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon, if you've built your deck to support it, which you can because now it exists and it's like three copies, three additional copies of Monster Reborn for the best card in your deck, which is Gaederg. Uh, now this card is full combo. So you scale your Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon, you use its effect, which is destroy itself in scale to special summon a Dragon Fusion Synchro or Exceeds Monster from your graveyard. So it special summons the Gaederg. Then you get to use Gaederg's effect, and this is what I meant by the deck can be built around the Monster Reborn interaction now because we have the second, third, and fourth copy of it, is that the Gaederg is now going to be full combo by adding another copy of Baby Rock and discarding Baby Rock, and then it'll special itself. So, Baby Rock is not a card that I would ever have considered playing at more than one previously, uh, not even to facilitate the Monster Reborn combo or anything like that, uh, but it's a card that is okay to draw because it is a natural extender if you do draw it with one of your two-card combos, whether it's Senatus Tuner or Ravine Phalanx or whatever. It naturally extends because you can just add Garuda or something with Gaederg and then discard the Baby Rock, so now you get two extenders out of the deal. But it still was never a card you needed more than one of, 
and there were better cards to build your deck utilizing more copies of in terms of extenders. Uh, but because now that this combo is possible, Baby Rock is something you could very, very much consider playing two of. It's not a card that I would have played two of beforehand, but Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon makes this combo something that's more consistent to achieve, and so, thus, it's something that I would consider now. But so, now you get to link these two off into Romulus, and now we basically have a full variation of Ducks combo. So Romulus gets to add Dragoonity Glow, activate Dragoonity Glow, and add Mistleton from deck to hand. Tribute Dragoonity Knight Romulus for the Mistleton. Mistleton on summon will activate its effect and you'll equip the Gator from Grave. Then you're going to use the Glow effect in Grave to banish it and special the Gator in defense position. And so it's full combo, right? Um, and this is a self-contained combo where you do not need any extra cards. You don't need to bounce Ravine, although you can. You can apply the logic of the previous Ducks combo that I put on the channel where you're discarding a random card as well to make a like differing ending board. You could do that, but you don't need to. And that's what I'm showing you here. But so Gator, add and discard Zephyros. And then you're going to overlay these into Hieratic Dragon King of Atum, detaching the Mistleton and summoning Dragoonity Armor Leviton from your deck. Leviton will equip the Phalanx, which will be special summoned. And then you will bounce the Leviton with Zephyros. So we're bouncing Leviton in this one. The previous Ducks combo I showed you um, that was a little bit more stringent with resources and did a different ending board uh, is something that I like the concept of in theory, but in practice, I think that I would just be doing a different form of combo because naturally your hand has other cards in it that could extend and make the board more well-rounded, you know? Uh, but anyway, so from here, going to link the Phalanx and the Atum into Kristron Halka Fibrax. Halka Fibrax effect will special summon the Coos from deck. And then you, you know, you, you, you should see where we're going. If you've watched any of my additional Dragoonity combo videos, uh, then you'll, you'll know where this stuff goes. Uh, Barka effect on summon will equip Coos, Phalanx, and Mistleton to it so that we can make use of the Leviton effect later, but we want to be able to do other things first. Uh, so special the Phalanx, special the Coos, link the Coos away into the Guard Dragon Pisty underneath this uh, Halka Fibrax arrow. Link the uh, Phalanx and the Halka Fibrax away into Triple Burst Dragon, Pisty effect for the Gaederg, Gaederg effect here to add Lechery to hand and discard the Leviton. Banish the Barka that's equipped with the Mistleton for the Leviton you just discarded to summon itself in either attack or defense. It really doesn't matter. Um, I mean, it's going to be staying on the board for the ending board. Uh, so, like, you might just want to put it in attack position. But, anyway. Uh, Leviton effect uh, gets to equip a tuner. Special summon that tuner. And then you'll link the triple burst and the pisty away into Darkness Metal, the Dragon of Dark Steel. And then you link the Phalanx away into Guard Dragon Elpy. And then you get to use the Darkness Metal effect to special summon the Phalanx from your grave. And then it goes to the bottom of your deck when you synchro away with it. Uh, and synchro into Borload Savage Dragon. Savage Dragon gets to equip the triple burst here and get three counters on it for negation. And then you get to scale Lechery in whatever open zone you have left over. And then you get to LP for Goliath. So you played around Nibiru by making Crystal Wing your fifth summon. And you full comboed off of just Revolution Dragon, which can also be, like I said, it can also be Monster Reborn. Uh, or just like a card that summons Gaederg back. Um, that doesn't require you to commit to the board that heavily. Uh, Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon is nice because it is a scale, meaning that it, you can Pendulum Summon using like Gate Zero or Dark Worm or whatever. Um, or like, you know, just whatever you find yourself in uh, as far as a, like a position. It's got a lot of redundancy built in because it discards itself to add Dark Worm. Uh, meaning you can discard Dark Worm for uh, like Ravine and Summon it and get the free pluses there. There's a lot of different things. The Revolution Dragon allows, not the least of which being this combo. Now, obviously, you could actually make this combo a little bit better in multiple ways. This is just literally the bare bones version of it, uh, is what I'm showing you here. But, like, obviously, if you had opened like Remus and like you discarded Remus for your Dragon Ravine, uh, before you summon Goliath off the LP, if Remus is just in your grave, you can special the Remus and then synchro or read bear with these two. Um, and have a third negate on board but you can also just do that with any extender in your hand or not even an extender 
Um, you could just do the previous Ducks play that I showed you uh, where you bounce Ravine with Zephyros instead of Leviton, and then Ravine discard a random card in your hand to add Remus, and then you discard Remus off the gate, adding Lechery. Uh, so, like, those plays are obviously available to you. Uh, like I said, I'm just showing you the very, very self-contained three-card combo. Um, but, I mean, you could add, literally just discard a random card from your hand, any card in your hand, turning it into a four-card combo, and turning this into uh, a Reed Bear. So you have another negation on board. But having the Leviton out is just fine. I mean, like, this is strong, considering you did it through, like, theoretically any hand trap. Uh, doing it through Nibiru with the Crystal Wing is nice. So this is basically what I wanted to show you. This is not meant to be taken as, like, the set-in-stone end board you can do. This is just meant to show you, like, this is the procedure you should be going about to play around Nibiru with cards that are not obvious that you could be playing around Nibiru with. Remus and Legatus interactions are very obvious ways to make Crystal Wing, but there are other new cards that have just come out that have been imported to us, like Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon, which are very, very good for the deck. Uh, cards I've been waiting on for years uh, that allow this deck to, again, just utilize the tools it has access to with the new structure deck to combo well and then also make Crystal Wing as the fifth summon so that you play around Nibiru. So that's basically what I'm here to, you know, show you. You can take whatever you want from this, the Synodus combos, the, the Ducks video that I posted last week um, or a little bit before last week. It's been a little while. Um, you can basically take, like, bits and pieces of any of that and start stitching them together into your own, like, routes of combos. Because, basically, there's lots of different ways, and I've, I've found that I need to, like, dumb it down as much as possible. Uh, no offense to anyone, I'm not trying to insult your intelligence, it's just, like, it makes it easier for me to make the videos. If it's, um, if it's streamlining as much as possible and not going into as many of the different hypothetical routes and stuff, right? But anyway... That's it for this video. That's all I wanted to show you. Uh, it's something people have been asking about a lot. Uh, the Remus Legatus interaction is something I thought was obvious, so I wanted to cover something a bit different. And in my mind, this is the best version of it because, again, strictly speaking, it uses the least amount of cards, whereas the other combos are all, like, playing with your incredibly varied four-card hands and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching, as always. Like, comment, subscribe, the usual. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section down below. I've got my Twitch page that I stream on. That is linked in the description. I've also got my Discord server. That is also linked in the description if you want to use those. They are tools at your disposal to be used. But other than that, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual, guys. And take care. I will see you in the next video.